all journalists need to understand libel law. Now libel is the publication of a false statement that maliciously or carelessly damages someone's reputation. In order for something to be found libelous, all five of the following criteria must be met. The statement must be false based on facts that are wrong or unverifiable. The statement must be defamatory. Usually a libelous statement accuses someone of a crime or an immorality, discredits a person professionally, or implies that someone has a loathsome disease. The statement must be published. Now any form of communication counts, whether it's printed, broadcast, posted online, or through social media. The statement must have an identifiable plaintiff. Now it's up for the plaintiff to prove that the libelous statement is about them. And finally, the defendant, that's you, must be at fault through either negligence, that's failure to exercise appropriate caution, or through malice. Let's pause for a moment and make sure that we understand the definitions of some of the words that we're talking about. Now we just mentioned malice. Actual malice means you printed a statement, either knowing it was false or with reckless disregard for the truth. Basically, you didn't know if the statement was true or false and you didn't care. Now, an opinion, as you probably can guess, is an idea that you don't claim to be factual. Now, if I were to write that Papa John's pizza tastes bad, or that Patrick Stewart was the greatest actor who ever lived, those statements are not provably true or false. They're opinions, not facts. Slander is the spoken version of libel. Now, something I didn't actually know before reading our textbook is that a defamatory statement made on TV or radio, even though it's spoken instead of written, still qualifies as libel. Now, a public official is someone who exercises power or influence in office, in public office, in government affairs. Now, that's someone, again, elected or appointed to public office, like the mayor or a governor or a school board member. And finally, you have the public figure. This is a person who has acquired fame or notoriety. Now, these are people who either deliberately seek out the spotlight, like actors and athletes, or those who have participated in some public controversy, such as a protester or a social activist. Now that you know what libel is, how do you defend yourself and your publication? The best defense against libel is the truth. The provable, verifiable, undisputed truth. It's up to the plaintiff, that's the person suing you, to prove that what you wrote is false. Another defense is consent. If someone gave you permission to print the statement, the source can't go back and sue you later, saying you didn't have permission to print it. Finally, use your fair report privilege to report on newsworthy statements, public controversies, the legislative and judicial proceedings, so long as your story is accurate and fair. Now, ideally, you'll never get sued for libel in the first place, but always verify your material twice, three times. If people are likely to be offended or damaged by a story, give them the chance to defend themselves in the original story it will help decrease your chances of getting sued later. And finally, if you make a mistake, correct it. Set the record straight as quickly as possible. Once upon a time, there was a vaudeville trio called the Cherry Sisters, and they were awful. A critic for a small town Iowa newspaper saw the group in 1901 and wrote a rather scathing review. The sisters read the review and sued for libel. The judge, who had heard their case 
had also seen their terrible show and ruled in favor of the newspaper. The sisters appealed to the Iowa Supreme Court, who ruled that, quote, any performance to which the public is invited may be freely criticized. The case established the definition of fair comment and criticism. Now, because of the Cherry Sisters, reviewers are free to publish negative critiques of books, plays, restaurants, etc. Now, they aren't, however, free to publish damaging facts that aren't true. That's libel.